Perfect. What is cracking guys, in this one I'm going to be fixing the issue I have with the visibility of my digital gauge mount on my bunking risers. So if you've seen my review video you would have seen that I wasn't happy with the placement of the digital gauge mount on these bunking risers. So what I've done is I bought an LA Choppers digital gauge mount which will just mount lower on the bars and I've also got the bunking block off plate which will go at the top of the risers there. Um, I've also got a bar bag which I'll install and that's just going to cover up that wiring there so it'll look a lot more neat and tidy. So let's get to it. So the first thing to do is to take off the top digital gauge mount. So this is the bunking top riser clamp and it comes with black allen head bolts which look a lot better than those stock ones. The next thing I'm going to do is just feed this wiring back through the bars as it doesn't need to be where it is as the clamp's just going to be a bit lower so I'll just feed it out through there. So what I'll probably do is just reinstall the stock one as it's a fair bit shorter and the digital gauge mount is just going to mount there so there's going to be a lot of excess wiring here. So I'm just going to feed the digital gauge mount wiring back through the cutout in the triple trees and I'll go find the stock one and reinstall it. So after looking around my shed for half an hour, I finally found it. Alrighty, so let's take the digital gauge out of the stock mount. Alrighty, so now let's install this on the bars. So the way this digital gauge mount works is that it clamps on your bars. So you've got this little piece that just clamps it at the back and you just tighten it down with some Allen head bolts. So what I'm going to do is just apply some double sided tape in there so when I crank it down and tighten it down it doesn't scratch the bars. So what I've also done is just put some double sided tape on the other side of the clamp. Alright, now to plug the wiring back in. So now let's turn it on and see if it illuminates. Alrighty, so the digital gauge mount is mounted. It doesn't move at all. It's in a really good position. It's just above the tank cap. And it's going to give me plenty of room to install this bar bag just here. So that's perfect. So this is the bar bag that I'm going to hook up to these bars. Shout out to Skid Pig. In one of his videos, he uh, talks about this bar bag, which you can buy off Amazon for around 20 bucks. So thanks for the red hot tip there, Skid Pig. It's, uh, it looks like it's a pretty cool bag. So what Skid Pig did was he mounted uh, this bar bag to his bars just by using some uh, zip ties. I'm not going to use the zip ties as 
it's uh, it's a bit too wide and I don't want to scratch the bars with the plastic zip ties so what I'm going to do is just make some nylon uh, clips to go around the bars and just secure it in place so what uh, Maddie did just there was sew some hems at the end of each fastener just because when we cut it to size it would uh, fray in the ends there so we just had to sew it um, down so it wouldn't fray so as you can see my wife just put the buttons on the fasteners which we just made and what we did was we just got a lighter and just melted the ends of the hems just so it won't fray away so what I'll do I'll uh, whack these on the bike now Alrighty, so it's nice and secure. Alrighty, so I'll give you a quick look at the bar bag if you haven't seen it on Skid Pig's channel. But it just drops down like that, and you can adjust that up and down. It's got a couple of pockets here and there. So, what I would be using the bag for is just to store my wallet, my phone, keys, GoPro batteries, etc., in there. So it's just a neat little bag which also tidies up the uh, the back of my bars so you can't see the uh, the wiring behind it as well. So I'm pretty happy with that bag. It's uh, not expensive at all. As I said, it was about 20 bucks off Amazon. I was going to go with a nice leather bag, but uh, that was going to cost about $110 and then $150 in postage from the States to Australia. So I wasn't going to pay more in postage than what the actual bag was worth. But anyway, I'm pretty happy with this bag. It's uh, it's going to do the trick for what I need it for. Anyway, that's going to do it for this one. Keep an eye out my videos. In the next video, I'm going to be doing a review of the placement of that digital gauge mount. And I'll let you know whether the sun beams down on it and makes it hard to read. I think it's going to be a hell of a lot better as to where it was originally positioned on these bunking bars. As it was a bit too high and a bit too flat. Didn't angle back at all, so I couldn't really read it. But uh, I think this one will do the trick. But as I said, that's going to do it for this one. Thanks very much for watching. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.